Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, it's sorry for late uploading the MPL series that I'm actually a part of. Of course, in Season 3, MPL Miners. Now, we're going against Toronto Star Raptors and Joe. And before this game was even a do, I knew that this time I actually had time to prep for the team properly, which was great because the previous week I was super busy with three league games. And of course, one of is my own league that was actually... Just trying to execute. I'm still trying to use, <laughs> utilize that properly. But due to TBU having a break week, I actually got some time to actually show myself that, you know, this is this is what I want to do. And uh, from the get-go, my only thought process against this team, because it brought pretty much what I was thinking. I said possibly me while which was what Pokemon I definitely felt could do really well for this matchup. Uh, I decided to not bring Superior, which was a Pokemon that I knew could rip apart his team. But I was expecting Assumeril to be Sapsipper, and Sapsipper Assumeril just walls the hell out of Superior. So I didn't want to screw myself over like that, and I didn't want to use, utilize a mod that may or may not be able to use it at all, actually. So with that in mind, I brought actually uh, Tabu Coco, Landris, Scoff Variant, uh, Mega Legasam, Volcarona with leftover super, super bulky. Um, so basically, one quiver that is able to outspeed everything in his team, but mainly Volcarona's role is to kind of break apart the team and do heavy damage to let the other kind of come in and do the wrap up. Reggie Seal, Counter, and Aka Berry actually together with, I do believe, Earthquake and Stealth Rock. So it's kind of walled up by Golbat, which I didn't see coming to this game whatsoever. So kind of surprised to see it. So I knew with that in mind that I had to be really smart. <laughs> to not screw myself over. And Kelio is your basic expert belt set with Icy Wind. Uh, so yeah, from the get-go here, I didn't intend to sell a big plan ahead. I uh, just wanted to scout what he was going to do. And also, my Landris is actually Grass Nod, or it has Grass Nod. So with that said, let's go into the game. As I start off with Kelio, as he starts with Hippowdon. And I'm going to be super predictable here. I do believe I go directly for the Scold. And clearly it won't do necessarily anything to violate gold, but, but I do get to burn, which is, of course, great. Mainly because, of course, it kind of sets things in motion for me. As I'll switch out to Landris, get on Rebel Down, of course, its attack. As it goes for U-turn, sadly, and not go directly for the Bree, but as Hippowdon comes in here, and there is really nothing to do to Hippowdon outside, of course, the grass. Now, sadly, he has Rindo Berry, and he gets the rocks up, and they are here to stay. So, expecting, of course, uh, Stone Edge or our Toxic to come, I'm just going to switch in Kelio. Kelio can naturally force out anything, uh, since, of course, it does heavy amount of damage. Now, he will switch out, of course, going to Umbreon this time, as I go for Ice Wind, which clearly isn't doing anything. I was expecting Latios here, so that was a bit unfortunate, as the only thing I can do here is actually bring my Volcarona eventually. I kind of wanted to scout him here. Uh, I didn't want to showcase that I could switch out move, but I definitely was expecting Wish over, of course, anything else, but Protect is clearly what it's going to go for, as I take the time to go to Registeel here, yeah, I want it at my rocks, I do believe, as Latios comes in, and Latios is not the big of a threat for Registeel, as I can clearly just go for Toxic if I so desire, and so with that said, he's actually going to show me Heal Bell, which is awful, uh, that means, of course, his uh, Golbat is no longer burned, but we do get the Toxic on the Umbreon, and knowing that it most likely will go for a Wish or Heal Bell, I can just switch in Volcarona here and go for a Quiver Dance. And I know that sounds weird, but due to Stealth Rocks, Volcarona is kind of due too. So if you get an honest chance to set up, I'm going to take it. And Entei comes in, and that's like, alright, this could be dangerous. I want to scout whether or not it's Bandit, so I'm going to go for a Roost here. Uh, mainly because if it is a Bandit set, then Sacred Fire should do around 75%. Uh, but it goes Sacred Fire and it does roughly 50, so now or no, it's not bad, and Stone Edge is coming my way, and I need to attack him. Sadly, he just connected Stone Edge, and it, I mean, it's a stupid risk, but it was basically, a, he shaked me there, and I couldn't really switch out. So, with that said, I'm gonna actually bring Landers, and I'm gonna go for Knockoff. Uh, so luckily for me, he just switching Golbat, which will not be able to actually withstand this whatsoever. And will fall through the series, of course, of the next knockoff. So, right here, I'm doing pretty darn good. As Logios comes in, I know Landers is not that important for the match anymore, so I'm just gonna sack it and go for a knockoff. Uh, but this might actually turn out badly because it goes for another quake. I didn't catch necessarily why he did that, 
But the reason he went for a knock on or went for it was to check that my, of course, Tabu Koko couldn't switch in because Tabu Koko wrapped again from here on out. But he is not the sap zipper <laughs> as soon as I was thinking he was forced to be. And this is a bad thing because that Billy Drum sealed the fate of this match because there is really nothing I can do. And while it is frustrating um, to some extent because I walk right into this and I think my opponent Jaw plays this game super smart mainly because it actually he did what was required to make me relax. Because I was definitely in this game. My initial thoughts here was, no, I'm going to wrap up here. I do not. I'm not in a bad position whatsoever because of my, I guess you'd say, bad initial thought, of course, making a Sumerla Sap Zipper set. Clearly, this set worked, and it worked really well, and I couldn't stop it whatsoever. I didn't even care for actually Mega Evolving here. And, yeah, that's going to be the game. Uh, and as stated here, I'm going to be completely honest here. My opponent actually built this up super, super nicely because in the end, had I just switched in Tapu Koko against the Ladios, I would not be able to take out a Sumeril. But had I sacked off Keldia against the Ladios and switched on Tapu Lele, I would have won this match. That That's about it. It's, it's one of those really, really annoying things to say because you kind of realize that I walked into a trap. I, my opponent here really, really knew what needed to be done to wrap things up, but I was definitely too naive to see what he was trying to do because I was so much thinking that, you know, his indication here was that he didn't have anything to check it properly and would just go into hope that I was playing badly, but that did not transpire in a way I was thinking that he was thinking. <laughs> Though with that said, I did not, I did not get salty or mad or anything like that because in the end, my opponent plays a super smart game here, so GG Jar, I do believe this was a very very well executed match from your side. Um and I should have played smarter. And that's the thing with Showdown. I'm I'm having a bit of a trouble when it comes to Showdown because there are no natural pauses as it is in Wi Fi. Wi Fi for me may or I I play the games differently when I play Wi Fi. You know, I sit in front of a table with a cup of coffee or a beer and um of course, having some pen and papers, you know, keeping track of every mod, which thing did what. Uh, when I play in front of PC, it's not the same thing, and I do believe I play a bit more risky, and when you play hyper-offensive as I do, playing risky without a thought process may or may not destroy you, and this is definitely one of those times where I feel that I did not think too consequential, and my opponent got the best end out of it. And as I said here, had I played this game more defensively, had I actually sacked Kelio against the Ladios, the game would have been mine actually with Tabu Koko because I was a specially oriented version and Grass Nut, since of course Rindle Bear was popped on me powder and would have KO it. So it's unfortunate, but at the same time, you know, I am just it's it's my fault for losing and my opponent plays the game right and you know for what it's worth that's actually kind of great. So with that said guys, thank you of course so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this MPL game and hopefully next week's will be a bit more interesting since of course my league is a bit of a pause now till um I do believe 10th of March when we start drafting for real. But as I said it Three leagues may or may not actually be a bit too much for me to actually prep properly for all of them, and I'm feeling MPL gets the short end of it, and that's definitely not my intention. I really want to try playing hyper offensive, and MPL has probably been the ground for me of trying to pull that off because I did not draft something like that in TBU, which I miss. I, I like playing like this. I really do. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I thank you, Jar, for the match, and uh, I'll see you all next week. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.